Hey folks, well I'm down in the basement today because it's too bloody cold outside to uh, start a fire and do anything in the shop. It's like uh, been really really cold, minus 30 Celsius, minus 40 in the morning, just just nasty. So I decided to bunk down in the basement here and do a little bit of a tear down, repair, modification, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let me show you what I'm working on. Let's move the tripod here. There you can already see. I've got some light going. You're going to see some shadows. Sorry about that. But maybe I'll move this light over to the side. Hold on. It might give me less shadows. I should get some uh, studio style lighting, but I'm not sure how much they cost. Let's see. That should throw the shadow to the side a little better. Yeah, that's, that's better. So you can see here, I've got a nasty dirty old monitor and you're probably wondering what the heck does he want a 15 inch monitor for so that's what this is f15 just an oldie let's get this in a little better there maybe that's a little bit better so but you're like i was saying you're probably wondering why would you garbage pick a nasty old thing like that well for, I'm not sure if it works, that's what I'm going to try to figure out today. But the main reason I garbage picked it, let's see if you can see, you probably won't be able to see. Let's see here. You won't be able to necessarily see in there because it's, uh, it doesn't matter which way you hold it, but there's, instead of having your standard power cord in the bottom, it's got just a barrel style connector. And the reason it has a barrel connector you look at the specs, let me hold it, I don't know if you can you read it? Don't know if you can with the shadows, but it's 12 volts. So it would have had a, like a 12 volt brick or whatever to power it. Which means I could run this off a battery. It's 12 volts, 3 amps. Now, uh, 3 amps is a fair bit, but now you're probably wondering why do I want a 12 volt operation uh, LCD? I'll show you why I want an L 12 volt LCD. So this is why I want a 12 volt LCD, or a free 12 volt LCD I should say. Finally got my uh, FPV camera gear in for my quadcopter, sorry about the bloody shadows, I'm figuring something else out here, here in a bit, but that way this runs on 12 volts as well, so I can make myself a ground station that runs completely on battery and probably what I'll do is run it on now it's, this isn't the size I'm going to be using but I can run it on some uh, three cell lipos because they're 11.1 .1 volts nominal but they always put out 12 volts when fully charged so the way I figure is uh, I could get even a couple it's going to pull three amps max so if I already get a couple uh, I'm going to turn more light on here See if I can uh, get rid of some more shadows here. Hold on a sec. Let me uh, try something out here better. Okay, I don't know if that's any better. Maybe it is. But the reason I uh, I can get a couple uh, three cell lipos. I think I've actually already got a couple. Some 5,000 uh, milliamp hours. So that would be give you five amps over one hour. So it would give me plenty of juice. I could even put two of them in parallel to run this and to run my uh, receiver and all that stuff, jazz. So what I want to do is I want to open this up. I was thinking, originally I was thinking I was just going to make an adapter, the barrel connector, but I don't know if I have a barrel connector that'll work in there. But I want to clean this up, maybe pop it open, look inside, see if there's any blown uh, power capacitors or anything, and then convert it over so I can run on my lipos. So uh, first things first, let's clean the filth off of this thing. Alright, I got most of the bung cleaned off. Looks a lot more presentable now. So, first step is, I don't know, seeing if I can get this stand off. Oh, that's not too bad. Because if I do get this monitor working, I am going to use the screw mounts in the back, the Visa mounts, if that's what they're called. They're mounted onto like a tripod or something. So we'll pull this off. 
sorry about the noise in the background. It's the uh, furnace kicking in. Uh, let's see here. Get these off. And... Now this all only has, you know, maybe you're wondering, well how are you going to hook up a composite video connection? So that's what that uh, receiver does. How are you going to hook that up to uh, RJ or uh, RGB, a DB25, sorry, DB15 style connector. I've actually got a uh, adapter on order. Probably get it in about three weeks that converts either composite or S video signals to uh, DB9 signal. And it's just a small box, and you know what? It runs on 12 volts too. Sorry for my ugly mugs in the view off all the time. Well, actually, now that I've got this apart, you'll be able to see. Uh, can you see if I hold it just right? Uh, it's hard to tell in the viewfinder. You can see the barrel connector on the bottom. Okay, let's pop this open. There's our hidden screw somewhere. Nope. Let's see if I can get this sucker apart now. isn't in the road all the time. There, how's that? Is that better? So there you can see the barrel connector. I want to tie into that. Or maybe make an adapter. I'm not sure. Because, but I opened it up because I'm not sure if it's a center positive plug or a center negative. Normally it's the center pin's positive, but you never know. I've seen center negative on the odd device, so just take the shielding off, figure out which side's positive and which side's ground, and then we'll just uh, tie into it and power it on and see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if this monitor is actually still good, and it was just scrapped because it's old and uh, it's too small, which is uh, good for me. Not much in it, eh? Here's a little power supply for the uh, the main board. Here's the high voltage supply as well for the backlight, the cathode, this cathode or cold cathode tube, whatever you want to call them, the backlight. Here's the main logic board. Now I don't see any puffed up capacitors or anything like that, so my guess is that this thing is just fine. So next step is to figure out which pin is positive and which pin is ground. Using my El Cheapo meter, but it's good enough for what I'm doing here. Now, let's see here. 
Diego, just by doing that and going to the chassis, that's the outside connection that shows that uh, the uh, center pin's positive and the outside connection is ground. So it was easy as that. So now I am going to look around. Maybe I can find an adapter, or maybe I can find a barrel plug for this, chop it off with something, and uh, and just uh, solder an XT60 connector on the other side and power it up. So let me go hunt around, and I'll be back. Well, I dug through my stuff, and look what I found. A barrel connector, brand new. Never been used, with the piece to go in the back. Now you have to excuse the noise in the background, because the laundry's running. But what I'm going to do is make an adapter to go from this to this, and then I can plug a, got my three cell Lipo pack and we'll see if that sucker powers up. So let's build this adapter first. I'm not going to talk, I'll just do a kind of a fast forward as I build this. Oh, I was going to mention, uh, I'm going to, this is going to be kind of a temporary setup because I think once I get everything built, I'm going to make like a power distribution center on my uh, ground station and then uh, go out from there. And I can use my old quadcopter power distribution board to do that, I think, since I don't need that anymore. Okay, on with the build here. I may just use some heat shrink on this end. Make my life quite a bit easier if I do. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scrap this. And I'm gonna do some heat shrink. Kind of making this up as I go. There you go. Now I know I'm pushing my luck expecting this to hold 3 amps, but that's a maximum rating so I think we'll be okay. Just put this last piece of heat shrink on since I can't use that cover. And also this is a temporary setup as well as I mentioned. So I think she'll work okay. I think she'll work just fine. For these testing purposes. Get that on just right, like so. Not super pretty, but you know what? It'll work. It's still a better job than what I've seen some people do with some of their soldering on uh, other RC channels using uh, liquid, liquid electrical tape and regular electrical tape and just slathering it on. So, get this shrunk a little more. Don't have my heat gun in here, so this has to do. 
there you go. One custom adapter. Now, I am going to check with my El Cheapo Princess Auto multimeter. Make sure there's no short. Put it on the 2 meg ohm. And just make sure there is no short across the pins, even a high resistance short. Nothing. So, the moment of truth. Let's grab the old uh, monitor. Now I said I wasn't going to put the stand on, but I put it on just to make it simpler to work with. Plug this in. I should have made it longer. Oops. And let's see if she blows up or not. Make sure I get my polarities right. Yep. Moment of truth. Think she'll power it, folks? You think she'll power it? Not if that plug pulls out quite just a bit. And do you think this thing's even any good? Find out shortly. Oh, look at that. Green light. I think I'm gonna ditch that barrel connector when the time comes, but check signal cable. Sweet. It's gonna go get a laptop and we'll plug her in and see if she works. Green light comes on though. No. Well folks, I got her plugged in with the power. You can see the power saving mode. I grab my son's laptop. And it's just booting up right now. Let's plug the signal wire in and see if she works. This looks good. Rock and roll. Thumbs up. An LCD powered by a lithium battery. It's going to be awesome for our FPV setup. And it cost me exactly zero dollars in just some time. Uh, now, uh, next step to get this rigged up, besides waiting for some more parts for the camera hookup. I got my transmitter receiver. I tested it. It works okay. But my cloverleaf antennas came with uh, RP, reverse polarity SMA connectors, and my, the transmitters are just standard SMA connectors, so I had to order up some adapters. So once those come in, I'm going to package it all up nice. The, trans or the receiver will be on the back of this with the antenna sticking up, battery pack, a power distribution, and I'll make some sun shields. Then I've also got some carbon fiber plate coming on eBay and that's going to be used to make the camera mount and she'll be good to go. So uh, not sure what the next video will be in this series but uh, stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Take care and talk to you later.